Hello and welcome back. This is Chris Ann and I'm coming at you from Elemental Energies with Chris Ann and Jeff. And today we are going to learn how to do this stenciled background and then stamp over it with Lavinia stamps. So we are going to be doing some ink blending using stencils and of course rubber stamps. So let me show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing this one today. This is only three stamps, believe it or not. So you can also mat and frame your art. This is what I normally do. I do make a lot of cards, but I also mat and frame my art. So using, uh, I've used three different stencils. So this is an example of the one that we're going to be doing today. This one right here, we're going to recreate this one. So let's talk about the stamps. Whoops, as I drop everything right next to my desk. Let's talk about the stamps that we're going to be needing today. Which, like I said, it's only three stamps. So one of them is butterflies. This is a four-piece set. We're only going to be using one of these. We're going to be using Flutterbees. This is one stamp. And we're going to be using Finn. And this is one stamp. So those are the three stamps that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using this particular stencil. You can use any stencils that you have. This one happens to be a Dilutions one from um, Diane Reevely. So that's the one that we're going to be using today. I do have a lot of Tim Holtz ones. I just wish some of them were a little bit wider and bigger so but you can use use whatever you have you know I've even done things with this type of mandala stencil as well use what you have any of them will work the other thing that we're going to need are blending brushes if you don't have blending brushes you can use a smoothie you don't have a smoothie you can use a finger dauber use what works for you we are going to be using two colors of the VersaFine Claire. One is Rainforest and one is Nocturne. Nocturne is what we stamp all of our fairies and focal points in. And then the grass is Rainforest or any green that you have. The backgrounds are all blended using the Catherine Pooler inks. We are going to be using Be Mine. Pixie Dust, uh, Aquatini, Lemoncello, and Tiki Torch. And those are all the ones that we're going to be using today. So these blend really well. If you haven't seen my other videos, check them out. So let's just put this guy right there so you can still see it. We're going to be using this. I like to keep my towel handy. I've talked about my little towel all the time. So in order to get the paper to stick, we're going to just take a little piece of washi. We're going to stick that down. We're going to place the stencil how you like it. So I'm attaching the stencil to my glass mat. And in this case, I'm starting with pink at the bottom. I have a blender brush per color family. I do have one for pinks and I do have one separate for reds, just so you know. These are a dye-based ink. They are water reactive as well. So you can just give it a little spritz. I take it off, my ink off, either on paper or I can do it on the glass mat. In this case, I'm just taking a little bit off on this scrap paper. I use all my scrap papers, whether it's in junk journals or um, scrap cards. This Christmas, I made a whole bunch of scrap cards and they came out gorgeous. So I keep all those little pieces. So I'm just going in gentle circles. And I'm coming up just a little bit because when I'm doing this type of ink blending, I want to slightly overlap my colors. So now let's move on to our purple. It doesn't take a lot of inks and this is the pixie dust. So I'm just taking a little bit of the ink off on my scrap paper. I start a little bit off. I am overlapping my colors. And that's the trick when you're doing ink blending is to come back in over where you just ended. So you can see, I like to not completely fill in that last area. 
So now I'm going to come in. I call this a blue. So this is in my blue family of brushes that I'm grabbing for the Aquatini. Now there's a method to my madness with this. With this blue, I'm coming in and I'm, I'm going a little heavy with the blue. I'm, I'm kind of coming in a little heavier on the purple and I'm doing slightly more with the blue than what I did with any of the other colors because the next color I'm coming in with is lemon cello. Lemon and blue create a green. So I'm getting an additional bonus color with my blending. Just take some of that ink right off, coming in over that blue aqua color, and I'm getting a version of a green, which I love. I love that. So there we go. And then last but not least, we have Tiki Torch. So let's just put a little bit of ink here, take a little bit ink off, and come in. And, and this is really quick and easy. I did a whole bunch of these in not very long time at all. So there we go. We have that done. I do want to come in and clean off my stencil afterwards. I can use my towel to come in and clean that up. I can also put it in some water. Dye-based ink comes off really easily. So because I'm going to be stamping with an unmounted stamp, I like to use my mouse pad, which is a cushion enough for my stamping. And then here we have our fairy. Let's grab our Versify. And then we just lightly kiss the ink to the stamp. Doing my best not to squish the ink all over the place and get the edges of the stamps. So I am offsetting this one a little bit. I want to have room for the butterflies to be coming in. So this one I'm offsetting. I gently give it a little bit of a rock, but yet I'm still holding it really still where it's at. With these stamps, because they're a different level of a polymer, different ingredients, so to speak, of the polymer, it's okay to leave it on the paper for a little bit longer than you would with some of the other stamps. When there's a little spot, I don't know if you can see that, there's a couple little spots that didn't quite fill in. Here's my trick for filling in. I have a paintbrush that's dedicated just to my Versafine Claire Nocturne. Yeah, you see, I always get covered in ink. That's like a necessity. <laughs> so I just take my paintbrush, I give it a little twirl within my Nocturne ink pad, and then I come in and I do this pretty much right away. I fill in those little spots that to me didn't quite stamp all the way. Ta-da! Easy peasy. So that's how you fix those little mistakes that you get. Next one that I want to do are the butterflies. This particular stamp, these edges, I keep getting them all inked up. And I don't want them inked up because I want a clean stamp. So I'm going to be very, very careful when I'm inking this stamp up. And you can see, pretty gentle. Still get a little bit. But if we get a mistake, I'll show you how I fix that as well. So we're just going to stamp this guy around. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, see, I inked up that edge. So yet again, my trusty towel, I come in and I clean that edge off with my towel. And now I want to gently re-ink that. And let's stamp this right there. Let's re-ink this one more time. Yeah, see? So if that's the case for you and you keep getting ink like this on the stamp, what I have done is come in and I've trimmed the stamps. And I think that this is going to be one of the stamps that I'm going to come in and trim. And you can use an X-Acto knife, you can use whatever, whatever works for you. So let's just stamp that down. And you can see I got a little bit of ink here that I don't like. So I take this guy 
and I can stamp over it. And here's the trick when you're using one of these sort of single, a little bit more bolder stamps. And I don't like that guy, so I'm gonna stamp over him. I didn't like how he came out. I keep this stamp moving. I keep my paper moving. So these little guys are going in all different directions. So there, my stamping is done. Easy peasy. Now let's give a little bit of grounding to the fairy. So let's grab one of our torn papers. So all I did is I took a strip of paper and I tore it. And now this becomes my ground. So let's grab our smoothie or our ink dauber, whichever you happen to have. In this case, I'm gonna use Rainforest. I'm gonna tap it in my ink pad. I don't need very much. In this case, I am gonna tap it off on my glass mat. Give it another little tap off. You can go in circles, but I like to kind of come in and pull the ink down. And I'm picking up some of the other colors that I have on my little stencil here. So you can see there's a ground that's happening. This is just simply a handmade stencil. I'm coming in a little bit lighter the more I move up. I wanted to give another little hill. There, super simple just from a torn piece of scrap paper. So the other thing that I always do is I come in and I clean this off as quickly as I possibly can remember to do that. I will get ink everywhere if I don't do that. And then I have a purple piece of paper here. We are going to grab our double-sided tape you could use any double-sided tape that you like. See, this is why I clean up my, my space because I like to turn my pieces over and I would get ink everywhere if I didn't do that. And let's just add two more quick pieces. And then the other thing, if you've watched any of my videos before, I talk about how I like to add a little bit of glitter on the wings of all of my fairy pieces that I create. So let's do that really oops, I don't, oops, let's flip this over. Yeah, I like this side better. There, and then let's give it a nice little push. It's attached. I do like my Nouveau pen. I just come in and add some of this shimmer to the wings. I love to shimmer and add glitter to all the wings. The other thing I can add is my Jelly Roll pen, and I can come in and just add a little more detail to the edge of the wing and some of these little tendrils. I could glitter her hair if I wanted, but in this case, let's just leave it like that so it's nice and glittery. I can add a sentiment, and the other thing I can do is I can add little gems if I wanted to. I think this is fairly busy as it is, so we're going to leave it like that. People ask me where I get my stamps all the time. All my Lavinia stamps I get from dalbellasdesigns.com. She ships worldwide. If you're interested in any of my artwork, you can check out my website, Elemental Energies with Chrisanne and Jeff. The website is chrisanne-jeff.com. Give this video a like. Please subscribe. Please share. I'm going to be doing a lot more art videos, but I'm also doing um, tarot card how-to videos, reviews of decks, crystal videos, how to use the crystals. I have a lot of videos planned. So subscribe, like, share. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Be free.